y'all welcome back to the channel hope that all is well we are in vlogmas day 10 y'all can y'all believe it this month is flying by like i told y'all christmas will be here before you know it we're already 10 days deep y'all but in today's video i wanted to give y'all a little peek inside my budgeting world and things that i do to budget my money especially during the holiday times i thought this would be a good idea to do so i wanted to share some of that with you all <coughs> Y'all, I tell y'all no lie, budgeting has helped me out tremendously, y'all. Tremendously. I cannot even say it enough, y'all. Budgeting my money before I had a budget, y'all, I was reckless. I was just careless. And I would just swipe, 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 y'all. No lie. So um, I just wanted to come and share some of these things that I'm doing during the holiday times with y'all so y'all can get an idea and encourage y'all to do the same thing too. So if you're ready to get into this video, let's hop right in. All right, y'all. So I don't have anything said. I'm just uh, writing it all out now. And um, I got my handy dandy pen. I usually do my rough drafts in here. If you watch my other video, when I went to Burlington and I got that thing, I'm going to be using that. Oh, I need that. I'm glad that fall out of there. I'm going to be using that into the New Year's, that planner that I got recently. So that's what I'm going to be doing, all of my budgeting and things. In. But I just use just a simple pad. You don't need anything expensive. And y'all know I got this pen. Y'all, this pen actually works very well from Dollar Tree, y'all. I like this little pen. So this is what I use right here. I do my rough draft, my rough drafts, and things like that. And here, and here, and um, this is my uh, binder that I'm using, y'all. Uh, somebody, my friend, actually gifted to me when I first started my budgeting journey. <coughs> I would just keep harassing, like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. I was just talking about it. And she gifted this to me, y'all. So, I've been using it, girl. I've been putting this thing to use, honey. And this is just what I use, y'all. I just do my rough draft. You don't need to go out and get anything expensive, y'all. Go get you a pen and a little dollar book, girl, and start writing um, your budget out that you need. So, this week, y'all know rent is already gone. So, this is my second check. And this is the second or the first? No. What it is. No, girl. This is my... This is my first check in December. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. This is my first check of December. And uh, last, I already paid my rent. I paid my first check, my last check in November... I paid my rent, I paid, um, my light bulb, no, I lied, because if you didn't know, if you were keeping up with the video, I had got a credit, I went to this thing where they was helping people out with their lights and things like that, and they gave me a credit, that was a couple of months ago, and then recently they gave me another $500, y'all, so I have a credit, of like the last time i checked it was like 140 something dollars so i haven't paid light in a couple of months y'all to be honest so that's a good thing use your resources i always tell y'all that y'all know i always say that use your resources do not be afraid do not be ashamed because everybody out here is doing it girl and you could be sitting up there oh they could see that so they could see that no girl use your resources you this deal it's deal it's free help y'all girl use your resources so um yeah y'all so i paid that so the next time i just have to pay my car note and my car insurance out of this check so that's how i juggle that my first check be my rent my light my phone bowl my rent my light my phone bowl hold up let me see so i can give y'all the real deal yeah see i got my budget for um i really want to show you that because it's just scribble scratch i did my rent my phone bill my car note my car insurance and amazon came out y'all know amazon prime if you get ebt or anything you could get amazon prime for six dollars and 41 cents is it six yeah six dollars and 41 cents 
that's how much it comes out to if you have um if you get ebt or anything like that that's why i see use your resources it's help out here y'all you just have to be willing to go get the help you know i don't pay i don't even know how much amazon what well, how much amazon prime is like 12 dollars or something like that you can get it for half that price y'all so yeah girl so that came out of my first check with my second check y'all i pay my car note and my car insurance that's the only thing i'm trying to think nope i lie and my wi-fi so that's what i just write down car note car insurance y'all and wi-fi and my car insurance is expensive, y'all. If y'all didn't know, I was recently in an accident. And um, I didn't hit anybody. I was, well, it wasn't an accident. I was driving my granddaddy called God bless the dead, right? The day after he passed, y'all. My granddaddy passed in 2019. God bless her soul. And I was driving his car. It was a real old car, y'all. And something with the tire and the car. I was on the interstate, y'all. And the car spun out of control, girl. And I hit the wall on the interstate. But let me tell y'all how good God is on the interstate, y'all. No cars. And I mean no cars, y'all, was coming when this happened. Like, that is, you can't tell me that ain't been the hand of God, y'all. You cannot tell me on an interstate, no cars coming. I heard the median. It was raining, so the officer said that I was driving too fast for the conditions. So, my that increased my car insurance. So, I pay, um, how much do I pay? And this comes out of my account. I paid 276. I was paying 167, but then I got speeding tickets and all of that too, y'all. So don't be like that. You wanna and now I'm not trying to be better. I haven't had and, and I feel like that officer, the last speeding ticket I get, he could have let me gone now. You know, I just feel like I wasn't even speeding then. Y'all know we always say that. I wasn't even speeding. <laughs> but um yeah, y'all. So I have speeding tickets and things like that. I was paying 167. Now it done shoot up all the way to 276, y'all. So um I get quoted again and things like that. I do that often just to see how much it'll be. But everybody, I have to let that ride off. A speeding ticket is about to drop off. So my insurance should be um decreasing really, really soon. So um yeah, y'all, I paid 276 271 for my car insurance, y'all. So, yeah. So, I just write all of that down. Car note, car insurance, Wi-Fi. I only pay for Wi-Fi. I don't pay for cable or anything like that. And my Wi-Fi is $60. And, um, I'm trying to think if I have to, if I have to pay anything else, y'all. That's what I do. I try to see make sure i'm not missing anything the kids are straight and everything like that or oh, or oh, the gym y'all the gym and i'm gonna start back going to the gym because they're coming out of my account and i'm not even going so i said on my days off that i would go so that's ten dollars i paid ten dollars for the gym a month so, wow, we have everything, a car, no, car insurance, Wi-Fi, and gym. Those are the main bills that comes out of the account. So, that's what I have to pay for this go-around, y'all. And I want to show y'all my envelope. This is gas. Gas is right here. And I do $60 for two weeks because i get paid by weekly by weekly so i do thirty dollars for um two weeks and that gets me on through like i need gas now this is the next pay cycle that's why i wanted to do this video with you all so i'm going to put sixty dollars in here towards my gas and then groceries as you can see 
I got my groceries in here. I still have money in here because I budgeted groceries out the last time because I didn't have my EBT yet. But now I don't have to put anything in here. I might just put this money back in the bank. Or, I don't know, I might just let it stay in here and that's $60, y'all. And it's just money that you're not even thinking about. You get what I'm saying? Like, I had this money in here, y'all. I didn't even touch it because I know, you know, I didn't need to touch it because everything is already paid for because I budgeted, y'all. And I still have this money in here two weeks later. You get what I'm saying? So... That's how I might feel like it's just good to budget, y'all. You don't even think about the money, you know? So, I don't know. I might put this money back in the bank or um, I might just leave it in here just in case, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, y'all. So, that's that. I might keep that in here. Save it for... um next time just in case i need that household i budget for household i usually budget like 30 dollars for household to get like necessities and i like to coupon with that money too not coupon but get little deals i want a coupon y'all but i don't know nobody who can like directly physically go in the store with me i know somebody but man it be moving too fast for me man so um i usually budget 30 dollars for a household and we still have things in entertainment because we didn't really do much. We didn't really do much. So I have how much? $22 in entertainment. That's like if the kids want to go to the movies or if they want to do something or if they want ice cream or something like that. I just put money in there for entertainment. Dining out, y'all know they already did that. We already smashed that. Gifts right here. I put twenty dollars in here. I still have to give some people this. This is twelve dollars left in here in gifts. Oh, all the money flying out. So I have to um. Just give, like, if I see a homeless person or, like, this lady asked me at work if I had some change. So, um, yeah, just stuff like that. You just give people things like that. Car maintenance. Um, I already had my oil change and everything like that. I'm not due for an oil change yet. So, I usually, if I want to get a car wash or anything like that, I'll put that money in there. I already got my car wash and things like that. So, yeah, school, the kids already use that money. Like, um, people come to the school where they want to buy, they may want to buy an ice cream, they may want to buy icy, or, like, they're doing this thing now where they're exchanging gifts. So, they was going to do me, but I just told them to do each other. They're going to get gifts for each other. So, um, that's already gone out of there. So, they had that money. I put aside that money for school. And if you've been following me on this journey, rent and utilities, like I said, I want to build that up. So I haven't gotten to that point yet, y'all, where I can put aside to do that. But I'm going to start putting towards money, towards rent and utilities. Like I want to be a month ahead. So that's what that envelope is for. I'm speaking it to existence. I want to be a month ahead on my rent, a month ahead on my car, no, a month ahead on my car, all of that. I just want to be a month ahead, you know, and then just keep building it up, you know. That's what I want to do. That's why I have an envelope there. I got a savings of just whatever is left in the envelope after I like to put into savings, but nothing is in there. And birthdays, y'all. Um, nothing is in there because, like I say, I bought my sister. <coughs> I bought my sister that gift, so nothing is in there. Nothing is in birthday, and I have a miscellaneous envelope, and then I have um, and then I have um, Pee Wee haircut money right here. He needs to. This is our envelopes, which I'm going to change it because I ordered some, uh, I need to order some more of these off of Amazon. 
these little envelopes but this is the ones that i'm using if you have been with me on the first channel this is the ones that i was using on the first channel um but i'm going to switch these to these these is our envelopes right here and um this is pb haircut money he do need a haircut i'm gonna take him to get his haircut tomorrow and then they just have like the kids savings and things like that they have like ten dollars in here but i just put have it on a twenty dollar bowl but they have um money in their wallet too so yeah y'all that's just how i do that and then i just write out everything like yes i write out sixty dollars because i do thirty dollars a week then i do um groceries i'm not going to budget for groceries because i have my ebt so i'm not going to budget anything and i already have sixty dollars in here so if i do need anything i can use that household i'm trying to think if i need any i do need tissue but i want to do a sam's club um i want to go to sam's club so I'm a budget for that. I don't know. I'll probably put what I need tissue. I can get paper towels. I write that down too. Tissue, paper towel. Um, what else do I need? I think that's it, y'all. I can get some more bleach. So that's probably what twenty, forty, sixty dollars. So I may put aside for household. I might put. I'm gonna just put a hundred dollars to be on the safe side. A hundred dollars for household and entertainment. We are doing some things this weekend, so I don't even know how much that's going to be. So I'm gonna put aside, <clears throat> and I already have twenty-two dollars in here. So, I'm going to put aside, what, $50 for entertainment. And then, I just total everything up. So, um, let me come back and I'm going to total this up and I'm going to see how much it is. Alright, y'all. So, all of this came out to $390 for, um... That's all of my um what is this thing called all of my variables expenses it came out to three hundred and ninety dollars so um that's what i'm going to get out y'all will see me stuffing my cash envelopes in a second y'all hold on real quick <laughs> all right y'all so i have the goods right here got the cash y'all and for the holidays for christmas for the kids i've been putting aside a hundred dollars each paycheck just towards the holiday time that's what i was doing that money stays in my account so i can just use my card towards the purchases or things like that so yeah you just want to budget for that and put aside your money if it's just fifty dollars twenty five dollars you can start in advance we can start at the top of the year y'all that's, that should be a challenge that I say. Putting $20 aside towards and then work our way down towards Christmas. If y'all want to join that challenge, let's have that challenge. You can get a sieve or a jar and just keep it in there until the end of the year. And then you have the stuff to, um, to put towards Christmas by the end of the year. If y'all want to do that, let me know. I think that'll be a really good challenge to do. So you can see that if you budget and just put aside for things that you want and when it all comes together, you'll be so happy because you didn't have to spend all at one time, you know? So that's how, that's the thing that I realized. Like it feels so good that I didn't have to spend all this money at one time. I put it aside, you know? So yes, y'all, I'm about to fill up my binder right here. Like I say, I'm just going to keep the one for groceries in there just in case. Um, <clears throat> that I need to spend cash for um, food or anything like that. So, in gas, I put $60. So, I do two 20s and then I do two 10s. I put that in my gas for gas, which I need gas right now. But I'm going to get it when I get off. So I just put that in my envelope, y'all. Okay. 
groceries like i said i'm not doing anything for groceries because i already have money in there that's gonna stay in there household we budgeted a hundred dollars so i'm gonna put that in there 20 40 60 80 one and i have it right here i'm just going to stick it in my household slot y'all And that's just how I do that. I'm going to continue to stuff my envelopes. I'll come back once it's done. All right, y'all. So that is done. We have everything we need for these two weeks, y'all. We have our gas. We have groceries if need be. We have our household that we're going to stock up the house with. All I need, like I say, is tissue and paper towels and bleach, y'all. I think I'm going to go to sand so I can get it in bulk. So I wouldn't have to um, buy for a long period of time. Entertainment, like I see, we're going to do something this weekend. Y'all will see that. Gifts, y'all, we got to give. You got to give. It don't matter what you give. As long as you're giving something, y'all. Just give from the heart. Little $2. I started off. Y'all saw what I started off if you've been watching. I've started off with like $5, I think, or maybe $4, and I would give two people or something like that where I started off with, y'all. It don't matter what you give, y'all. As long as you give and you know, do your part, you know? Car maintenance, just in case I want a car wash or air freshener or something like that. You know, we stay buying something for the car. School, just in case anything ha comes out with the kids, they always need a little $5 here and there. So I just put aside, make sure I put aside $20 just in case the kids need something for school. It'll never be major, y'all. It'll never surpass $20 that they need for the both of them for something with school. That's why I do that. Like I said, I'm going to start rent and utilities. I'm going to do that in advance. This is something that's going to happen in the future. Just starting now, planning and preparing to save up ahead of time y'all savings it's just it just gets whatever is left in the envelope but i didn't do that yet y'all birthdays like i said i i just left that on the card i subtracted that and i left that on the card just in case i want to cash at my daddy or um order him something and send it to his, his house or something like that i just left that on the card p we have his money for his haircut he overdue y'all long overdue for um a haircut and the kids had their money in here i just folded up because those bills that they gave me were so flimsy it wasn't going straight so that's why y'all don't see it but the kids money is in here and i had some money set aside for me just in case i want to get a filling or if i want to buy me some coffee or anything like that but the thing about it is after this 50 dollars is gone girl that is it i want to budget more in the future for myself but it's gonna come soon y'all it's gonna come soon i promise y'all leveling up leveling up leveling up you gotta start from somewhere 50, i feel like 50 dollars is enough for me i can get my filling on my nails i don't know how much that is that's gonna be but you know i can buy a little coffee here there if i want something you know um and I have some at the house. I don't even have to buy coffee. I can make my own coffee at the house, you know? So, yes, y'all, this is it for this video. Like I said, the Christmas stuff I've been budgeting, saving, putting $100 aside because I started off late. That's why I started with that amount because I wasn't doing it um, budgeting for Christmas like that. I was just putting aside low teens, $20 here and there for Christmas. But then I was like, damn, I got to get on the ball. So I start to put aside $100 for the Christmas season, y'all. But like I said, come January, y'all, we can do this challenge. If y'all want to do it with me, let me know. We can set aside um, $20. And then by the end of the year, we can see what we be at. If God's sparing, if God's willing, if we still be here, y'all know how things is happening. But, um, yes, y'all, um, I would like to do that challenge with y'all. So, let me know if you want to get in on that. But, this is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoy. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that bell down below to stay tuned. And, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.